Um, that's a, I, I have a couple answers to that. Um, to that story, I, I just when I sometimes think that it doesn't, even though I do, but you know, there's days where you're like, oh man, am I ever gonna find love or whatever? I run, I was in Napa, I think, or somewhere in California. Yeah, I was in the, in the Napa Valley area. And I went for a, ro- a walk and I, or a run or something, I, I went for a walk and I saw this garden, it was this beautiful garden. There was this older couple, a guy in a wheelchair and uh, probably 85 year old man to, to 90 and a, and a lady pushing him. And uh, they were, they looked like characters from a movie. He had like a gone fishing hat on and, um, and this beautiful garden that they helped kind of take care of every day um, therapeutic kind of thing and I just went up and asked them you know what their story was or I think they might have even chatted me up and and uh, and they said uh, you know they've been married for 65 years and and they had these big smiles on their face and they want to know all about me and where I was from and and they and then I I started it, I posted a, a while ago but it was I, I started singing uh um, you make me feel so young, and they both started singing it, and and then they couldn't help but not like, you know, they they gave each other a kiss in the middle of the song, and it was like the most magical thing I've ever experienced. And I was like, that's it, it's so simple, it's so simple. It's, there, there's nothing more to it other than just having that person there, for, you know, a ride like that, and they've been there together 65 years. I would love to find that. You know, and that it's it, there's there's nothing complex about that. It's just a simple love and have somebody there for you, and uh, you go on this ride together. I uh, I've been burnt, and I've and I've and I've and I've had I've had moments of you know clarity and where I where I know what I want, but I also am guarded from it all. And so it's like yeah, you know, songs like Castaway, where you completely put yourself out there, like I am. I completely am guarded to the point where I run away from love and I shield it away and I get so far away from it that I'm stranded on a on a on an island and I and I realize that I'm there by myself and the whole time I needed love that I was the thing that I was running away from. So you run back towards it and you get stuck in the middle, you know. It's I think a lot of people experience that and I and and it was very that's definitely the most representative of, of a song for me probably and but it also has hope. You know, and, you know, please don't say cats away is what I was born to do. Like, please don't say I'm always like that. I, and I don't think I'm always going to be like that. And I, by the day I get better, um, not better, but I'm just, I just of learning how I can juggle both. Cause my first love is music. How do I chase that down and give my love? And I want, cause when I fall in love, I want to give everything. I got to figure out how to do both at the same time. And I, I think by the day I figure, figure that out. So I write songs. If, I, if I'm writing a love song, I'm writing for what I want and what I hope to have and, and uh, what I want to give to somebody. And also, if I'm writing um, a heartbreaker, that's just what I've, what I've experienced and, and that's the other side and the reality of it. And I think when you, I think I've, I've touched on that more on this record than any other time. And I think it's, it's freeing to be able to, to let my heart out like that and, because it's real. It's just, it's, it's, it's honest and I, and I hope somebody is, that's going through the same thing. Here's that, and that's what gives me the reason to get up there and sing them.